Let's see. <clears throat> I have, um, I really don't. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. You'd be amazed and surprised at how. <clears throat> you know how they say there's always a twin in the world of you or someone that looks like you or very close to you like that? Um, I have experienced that in my past. Um, all the way down to my family. Where, where it's like... <clears throat> Twin Towers or something like that where they have the so-called perfect one who's flawless and then the one that they always torture all the time that gets sick and stuff um yeah so I guess I'm on the the Twin Tower side that was supposed to be for medical purposes, and the other side is supposed to be the rich one. Um, although, as far as I know, I was informed with the twin. Although, I'm not part of the medical crew, so it could have been the no child left behind thing where there was a child left behind in the placenta. We don't get a chance to check our placentas when we're giving birth, when they pull them out. They could have been slightly smaller. Um, I do not know for sure because I was not able to um, do that to confirm that myself um, visually. Uh, there's also the fact, um, and that's where they would call it cloning, but it's really not cloning. If there were a twin there or the, as they call it, the runt in the pack, then that's a possibility that this happened. <clears throat> now, for the fact of my son being dead, there are sometimes incidences where people get hit, and depending on what age they are, um, that he could have just stopped growing due to the fact that there could have been a piece of bone that hit his brain to stop him from growing as to why he would have been smaller. Um, he could have been burst out and me not feel them being pulled out in the placenta because of course I had to push the placenta, had to push them out anyways and that once they got to them they could have moved the bone some because when they showed me the ultrasound they did show me two different heartbeats so if his heart was still beating then if they adjusted the bone properly he still would have been able to live but he most likely would have probably had some brain damage that wouldn't have made him right. And due to the fact that his head was fresh open for a month and a day, um, gang green set in as to why he would have been discolored. Um, and these could have still been the full size baby. Um, let's see. It had been, I gave birth to him October the 20th. So it would have been. And he looked like he was probably about four weeks behind in size, that is. Journey is officially nine months, so he would have been nine months, but he would have looked more like an eight month old baby. <sighs> By height, weight, and size, because he would have grown slower. So, um, by the weight calculation, that is. Um, I don't know what else to say. I know if he was looking like that from the image um, of confirmation, then what do my insides look like now? Um, I know I have people in my life that really hate me. And they remind me on a regular basis. They say it out loud and inside, internally. I hate that bitch. I hate that bitch. Why? What did I do to you? 
besides not awakening until 2010 of hearing. So I have a higher sense of hearing. I didn't do anything to you. And my children didn't deserve that stuff. Not any of them. They did not deserve the abuse. My son did not deserve his head being crushed open. I did not deserve having to linger around like this. So since you wanted a living will and testimony, there you go. Would I ever leave you a will and tell you, ooh, this is what I'm blessing you with? No. Because just as you say, you don't like me, you hate that bitch, well, look in the mirror at yourself and remind yourself of the same thing. Bye.